welcome back to another episode of The Fresh Five. I'm your host, Tommy Fresh. This is the show where I talk about five things, flesh and blood, in five minutes or so, and just because I want to. Now, this week, we're going to be talking a little bit about my girl, Leviah. Leviah is my favorite hero for many reasons, one of them being that she is a challenge to make work well consistently. Now, the five things I wanted to talk about this week are five things that I think could really help Leviah go to the next level. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is engine cards. So number one is one cost, high rate attacks. So you see this in Graveling Growl and Boneyard Marauder. Now these cards are strong at a high rate. They go with the theme. Graveling Growl is, is rewards you for already banishing and, and Boneyard Marauder banishes for you. So if we could get one more good high rate banish centric brute card, I think that could help push Leviah to the next level. Number two is another Dread Screamer like effect. Dread Screamer is really the bread and butter of Leviah decks right now. You know, it banishes, it gains go again, and helps you go wide. Helps you have really big turns for Leviah. Now I think we could possibly get a majestic that would really help Leviah decks go to the next level. I think those big go-wide turns are are really what is to be feared with the Leviah decks. Now, number three is a headpiece that really helps you. Hope Merchant's Hood. This is a great card in Leviah because when you have that hand that really just can't get you the, the banish that you need, you can kind of cash it, cash it in, go get the new hand, and hopefully that's the one that you want. Now... I have an idea, and I've mentioned this on Twitter before, and I think it would be pretty sweet. So instead of shuffling those cards from your hand into your deck and drawing, what if you banish the cards from your hand and then drew that many? I'd like to call that card Dope Merchant's Hood. You know, LSS, feel free to use it. (laughs) But that would be pretty awesome. Now, number four is I think we need some more targetable banish so we have you know deadwood rumbler and like shadow blasphemy right we kind of have to rely on variants for being able to get that targeted banish now i think since we are outside of monarch now and any printings would be outside of monarch we don't have to focus on the set theme of banishing three cards at random i think that we could have a card that says banish one two three for whatever target cards from a graveyard and that you know takes a lot of the variance out of leviah you know it's not necessarily her theme but it could really help her get to the next level and then number five is a is is a little bit tough because it could be too powerful this is repeatable banish now i thought of two different ways you can do this and one i think might be too powerful and the other i think we can make work The first is a weapon. So maybe like a ravenous meat axe that instead of discarding, you banish, right? You you draw and then banish at random. That would be pretty sweet, but also could be a little bit too consistent, right? Especially if you build your deck around it. Um, But maybe it could work depending on the, the attack value of the weapon. Now, the other thing I was thinking is like another headpiece. Now, this could be a legendary headpiece. And what I was thinking is almost along the lines of a crown of seeds, right? Zero defense. It has a one cost instant activated ability that you opt one or you don't even have to opt one. You can just banish to the top card of your deck. Now, that could be too powerful, but, you know, maybe without the opt, it is it is uh, a little bit more manageable. So these are five things that I, I really think Leviah could, could use to really push her to the next level. You know, she's my fa- favorite hero still, and I'll, I'll be playing her till you know, maybe living legend status one day. So this has been, uh, you know, the Leviah episode of 
the Fresh Five. Please check out the podcast, Fresh and Buds, if you haven't already. It is a fun show that I get to run, and I have a lot of my friends on, some great guests, and and, and all that. And um, you can follow me on Twitter at FreshBudsPod. You can email the show, FreshBudsPod at gmail.com. We have a Discord. It's called The Buds. We have a lot of fun there, and we'd love to have you. You know, we, th- we, we run some events and stuff like that as well. And, you know, all the buds like to clown me for my Leviah love. So hop on in and, you know, <laughs> join join in. So, uh, But, yeah, that's uh, that's been this episode of The Fresh Five. See you guys next time.